Hi and welcome to another tutorial at Learn Brazy Page Builder from a chilly, chilly, chilly southern hemisphere to the rest of the world up there in the north. Hope you guys are enjoying your summer. Have it. Enjoy it. We'll get our chance soon enough. This is JP and today we'll be looking at the update that was released yesterday, bringing us to version 1.0.19 and let's just dig right in. The first thing we will be looking at is shadows. I'm going to load a blank block and then we can just use this default template here. Now what you have to understand about shadows is how Brizzy describes it as box shadows. That means any element that you can think of that has a box will be able to provide you with a shadow to it. Just as we are here, you can start with the columns and what you do is you click on the more settings and then you will see the box shadow option over here at the bottom and you toggle it on and it will immediately display your shadow there. This is very typical shadow settings. You've got your color that you can change over here. I'm going to leave it on black and then over here, this is your, you know, your dispersion. This is your size. You can call it radius, your size, and then this is your, which one is this now? The Y, Y axis, the Z axis. So typically what you would do is, you know, I like to use it in Photoshop. I know it's 135 degrees. That is my favorite setting for a shadow. And right. And then what you should do over here. Oh, that's a minus. Let's just bring that to, yep. What you should do, this is just too strong, is that, when you do apply this kind of shadow, just bring down your opacity. You can bring it down quite a lot and you will see. There we go. Right. This can be applied to the columns and it can be applied to the row. So if you have maybe many elements inside a row, then you can go and do it. Of course, you're not going to apply shadows within shadows within shadows. That's very weird unless you've got some special technique going on that the rest of us are not aware of. Then for those elements that can make use of this new feature, we start here with button. You will see that the button definitely allows you to do the shadow. The next one is icon. The icon is an interesting one, and I'll show you now why. If you apply a shadow to our friend, the icon, remember I told you it's a box shadow, so it's going to apply it as a box. So this is going to be weird, but it will work if you go and you apply the background as a circle, you see, then this will definitely do something for you if you want to play around with that in the way that you like. The only thing that I still see that's not yet been fixed and I'll have to go check if it has been raised is the fact that that border keeps appearing whenever there is any change to the icon size. So you see, I've just reduced the border to zero. And the moment I play with the size, the border pops back up at three pixels. Super annoying, but yes, I'll have to go check if anyone has actually raised this so it can be fixed. Next one, images. Now, definitely images is a box. So you can choose your image of liking. And then from the image, you will be able to apply a box shadow in shadow and you can start there with the normal stuff play around with it reduce the opacity i like to often trick that i learned long ago from our friend deke over at lynda.com you know when you do something like this and you apply a shadow try and find a color that matches so for example there's this red in here go for the red and then you make the red actually very very dark as close you know and close to black as possible and then you can reduce it a little bit just so you know if you have similar images that the color of the shadow sort of can match that but if you have a green one here and a red one here don't go apply different color shadows it's just going to be super 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 weird then next is the video you'll be able to apply one here for the video and let me just grab a link here click on the video and we insert a Vimeo link and then, of course, from here, you will also, again, be able more settings to apply this shadow. Let's do that. Ah, my default shadow. It's so boring. JP, always the same. So just have a look there. 
to what we've done so far you can see the shadows we didn't apply one there we've applied one here and we can play here it will play our video directly from video or you can go into youtube the next one um, is the map 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 and the map goes there same thing if you go into that you click on more settings there is your shadow option and there's a cat yes i see you i know you want attention but you have to wait a little okay <laughs> and then yes so these are all the box elements or box shapes except of course you don't want to use really the box shape when you use an icon you probably want to use the circle on which you can apply these shadows good things to come guys thank you for that update then the next update is the menu hamburger option when you go into mobile view now currently if you use the wordpress menu shortcut here at the bottom let's drag it up here to the top it will choose any of the menus and if you want to change the menu if you have more than one menu go here to settings and then from here you can choose which of the menus you want to display i'm going to use this one i call the hamburger test menu and then if you want to increase the space between the different ones you will use it over here under spacing and you can also align it we like that right align this to me is a very good start especially in a free version um, unfortunately there's no such thing as hover or underline or anything like that yet but if this already can be done in the free version i'm i have a lot of expectations for the pro version because this is the basics this is where you start so you've included your menu here now if you go into your mobile view many people would prefer the hamburger and what you do is you click within it and now on the wordpress settings you go to toggle menu and you click it on and it will provide you with the hamburger where is the hamburger it's now behind this icon there you can see it if i take the mouse away you will be able to see it and you can also align this right so up to your pleasure let's put it there in the middle you're not ah oh, okay and even the toggle view works in the page builder view very nice and you know the only thing that i see here is that under services it's not going to display let me just quickly make sure yes let me go back to the desktop view to show you services has got a drop down menu let's go into our preview mode there it's got a drop down menu and if i now reduce this to our hamburger over this one and i click on it you will see my drop down menu also displays there so the drop down menu is not going to display in the page builder but it will display in your preview mode be aware of that another thing i've noticed that for some reason when i add the menu at the top i get this that it's all pushed to the top so what i've done a workaround for that is that i've added a spacer at the top so to to give a little bit more flexibility for that so you have to play around with that if you see there's not enough space at the top for your hamburger menu right tool tips now this one i had to laugh at um <laughs> tool tips right go to add elements and now if you hover over an element there's a pop-up tool tip so for text it's text button yes you guys the button and so forth right so you would think what the hey actually in some cases it makes sense for example if you go down here to count then maybe you're like mm, what is that but now if you hover over it you will see it says countdown same here for short codes at the bottom but for the rest of them you can read them all so actually the tooltips is a little bit weird yes oh well helpful in in some of these cases right then one more change and for this we are going to go back to wordpress and this is something called revisions support which you are going to find under your posts so in let's add one first here and people often ask me jbo brizzy load so slowly and the pictures load so slowly people i sit in an area where we barely have decent internet so if things go a little bit slower here than where you are please be aware of the fact that my internet on a level of 0 to 10 10 is good 
for sucks. Right, so let's quickly make one here. We make a test post and then we publish it. Now, the first thing I will do is I will use the WordPress editor and this is the traditional way that we are all used to that we do anything. On the right here, under publish, you know status, visibility and published on. So if I type something and then I update it, it is going to add one more line over here after updating saying revisions. So let me add a few more things five six six and seven and let's just make it very clear copy that you know how many times people do we do these things and update and then it will jump up to three now what the revisions allow you to do is that if you click on browse it will take you up here you see this little bar here you can choose from your starting the first up publish to your second update to the one you are currently. So if you think, oh no, I've made a lot of changes, I don't like this one, you just drag it back to the second one and you will say restore this revision. What I'm going to do is let's go back to our posts and I'm going to go back to that post that we just created. For example, you decide you are using the WordPress editor and then you want to go edit with Brizzy instead. And one thing that you have to understand when you click on edit with Brizzy, it will override anything that you did in the WordPress editor. It starts afresh here. So just drag something in here and now you have made this. And I'm using here at this moment, I think it's Astra. Uh, I hope so. I think so, yes. Let's go back then to WordPress. This is our current view then of this post and it is overridden everything that we've done in the WordPress editor. So when you get back here, you're not going to see anything. If you click back to WordPress editor, you are going to see the following and it's not going to be this one. Ah, right. Let's do it again. This is how we learn because this is that button at the bottom here, update. So we learn, so we learn, and so we make fools of ourselves on a daily basis in front of the masses. Right, let's now click back to WordPress editor. And then you will see our revisions here is four because it includes now the Brizzy one. Now you think, oh, let me just go back to the previous one. So click again on browse. And then on the slider here, you can see this is now all the text that has been generated by the Brizzy editor. But we want to go back to our WordPress editor, drag back there and click on restore this revision. And voila, you are back. You can continue working from here and you'll see now we have five because this is now included as the new one. Right. All pages, the few fixes that we've seen here, and this was one that had really it had caught me completely by surprise. I had done a page in Brizzy and I wanted to go see the short code. So not the short code, the, the ID section code that were generated. So I went back into the WordPress editor and I clicked on text here to view all the code and find the ID section code. And then when I went back to Brizzy, everything was gone. So that has been fixed now. You can jump around between them. Those things have been fixed. The other thing that has been fixed is something that I had pointed out in the previous video, and that is the countdown timer. So if I add our friend, the countdown timer over here, hey, you didn't add it. You have to wait for the dark gray line. There we go. Hey, no, let's then add it to the top. Uh, yeah, okay, so here is the countdown timer. Not going to go into details with that. What happened previously is that if you published it, that would have displayed as a vertical timer. Now that has been fixed. You can play around with that countdown timer. Great. And the final thing that they have done in this update, there's a few more things that they've done, but the one that you can take note of, if you go here to Brizzy and you click on Role Manager, they are talking about preparation. So many people looking forward to the role manager, you know, restricting your clients from messing up your page once again. This will be here, especially in the pro version. And at 
current stage they are preparing this you can have some functionality here but it's not going to give you all the control in the world that you are looking for but just be cognizant of the fact that they are making preparations here for the pro version so there's a quick view of everything that is in this update it's looking good we'd like to have more and people the clock is ticking on that lifetime deal very soon it will be gone baby gone so if you want to grab the lifetime license at still a very reasonable price click on the link below this video and it will take you there you will pay nothing more i'll get a little bit for my effort and we're all very very happy see you in the next video